Hey, and good morning. Good morning. Today is a special morning. Why is it special? We got to take a shower. Oh, yeah. It's been like three days, something like that. I mean, since we left. Yeah, Thursday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday. It's about three days. So that was an ordeal in itself, moving things around, because we didn't really plan, uh, I guess, we didn't pack very well. Very well. Just threw everything in there. And then we took off because we wanted to leave. So we had to deal with that, and uh, that was fun moving things around. Yeah, we have too much stuff. So we're trying to take a shower. <laughs> and. Our shower became a storage closet. All the stuff just came out of it. It's still coming and out of it. It's a pain in the butt, so we're gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I don't even know where to put that. Put it somewhere. So anyway, we're all showered up. Dog got a nice walk. Now we're headed off to church. We're going to drive along Flathead Lake. We'll be scouting a place as well, maybe to come back to to camp for a couple days. Hey, Lindsay, what's going on? I'm eating lunch. Um, I think we decided to hit Glacier National Park today because of crazy cold fronts coming through. It's supposed to snow in there this week. Doesn't that define our life? Yeah. Cold fronts moving through? It does. So instead of chilling out and finding a place to stay for a couple of days, we're going to go ahead and do Glacier National Park. Maybe drive up to Canada if we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to flip around at the border. Lindsay doesn't have her passport. Boo, Lindsay. Not my fault. Boo. Not my fault. Boo. <laughs> Lindsay doesn't have her passport, so we'll go flip around at the border and then uh, drive. Don't know if we're going to do that or not. Every time we say something, it kind of goes a different way. So yeah, Things don't go as planned, usually. Yeah, that's what happens when you wander. Slow and steady wins the yeah. wander. So we are going to make this gorgeous drive up to and through Glacier National Park. Should be pretty spectacular. We'll share that with you. And of course, once we get to the Canadian border, that's where the journey south starts. And we'll be documenting all that. So if you happen to be driving from Alaska to Argentina like us, or Alaska back to the United States, you're definitely going to want to swing through the parts of the country we're going to show you. So, ready to get started? Yep. All right, let's get on the road. <music> It's stupid busy for the end of September. Yeah, it's like end of season. Going to the Sun Road is closed. So, in the middle. So you can't even get all the way through the park. And um, there's these cars coming in right and left. It's crazy. Uh, anyway, so we're going to try to see, I don't know, maybe go into the outskirts and see things a little bit. So Glacier National Park is the first national park you'll hit when you drop out of Canada or it'll be the last park that you hit on your way to Canada. You're gonna to wanna to go to Banff and Jasper and the Canadian Rockies, so if you're on your way up, so if you're on your way up to Canada to experience that, you're gonna come through Glacier National Park and be amazed. If you did, just did Banff and Jasper and you're on your way south, you're gonna hit this right as soon as you cross the border and it is a gorgeous park. Hey, and there's a lot of cars. Yeah, there's like seven more cars coming. Wow, this is ridiculous. I don't even want to go in here anymore. But babe, it's a national park. Yeah, but I don't want to do this. I don't like this. Too many people. National parks are trendy. Don't do this. Don't be part of the trend. Don't be part of the crowd. Who's even a kid on a bike? Holy. Hey, we're gonna get a break in a minute for. Holy moly, there's horses. 
Texas. This place is crazy busy. <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> it works either way, as long as you show it. So this is the National Park Pass that's good for U.S. National Parks. You're going to want to pick this up at the first national park you cross wherever you are. It costs you $80 and it gets you into every park. So there's like 57 of them or something across the United States and its territories. So we're starting out by, well, we got our card punched when we went to Joshua Tree. But we're going to go to Glacier National Park and start there. And we will show you several other national parks as we drive from Canada to Mexico. Do you have that photo ID that goes with this? Uh, would you like a map today? Yes, please. Are we able to make the 16 miles in with yes. the truck camper? Okay. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Okay, so we are on going to the Sun Road, so we can actually drive 16 miles in, and that's what we are going to do. And then we'll flip around, I guess, and drive 16 miles out. But we think it'll be a very pretty drive, so... And maybe we can do on the other side, maybe we can do the mileage and from that side, so okay. we'll almost do the whole thing. Yeah, just except the top, which I don't think we could actually do anyways because our truck is longer than 20 feet. And if you're longer than 20 feet, you can't do so they going say. to the sun run is what they say. So. The ranger was really nice. He said we have no problem doing these 16 miles coming from Kalispell on that side. These 16 Pretty miles, light. this is where the campground is over there. Oh, look, you can see where the fire was last year. Yeah. Wow. Yep. No fires this year, but Glacier had its share of fires last year. It was on fire. Part of the reason we didn't see it last year was all the fires. Yeah. The other part was we didn't have time in between Lindsay's Crohn's medication. So. That's part of why we wanted to come back to Glacier, even though it's kind of the opposite, well, it is the opposite direction, but uh, we are so close being in Thermopolis that we decided we needed to come back, and for good reason. Wow. Very beautiful. It's gorgeous. Don't be that guy. Where is this? Lake McDonald. Lake McDonald had a farm. Wow. So when you come this way, you definitely want to want to pull over at McDonald Lake and uh, try to leave the GPS coordinates for you because there's a couple pull-offs. Yeah, this spot right here comes down to like this rocky beach area. The view is phenomenal. And it's perfect for a picnic, but um, definitely worth a <laughs> stop and a hang out if you need to stretch your legs. This is awesome. Yeah, 
other side of the lake, you can see where the fire was. That was amazing last year. We're actually thinking we're going to come back and camp at one of the campgrounds on this lake so we can spend a day just hanging out on the lake. Um, worst case, we're going to try to at least come out and kayak tomorrow and see what that looks like from the water. So we're on 89 North right now, headed toward the Canadian border. At this junction, you can take a left and head up into the National Park, into Glacier National Park, and cross into Canada through the park, or you can continue on straight where we're headed, and uh, there's a border crossing up there that's open from 7 in the morning until 11 at night. So we're about as close to the border as we can get without crossing. We are um, on 89, about to head south. If you're crossing, coming out of Banff and Jasper, you're on, uh, you're coming out of Calgary, you'd be on this road and you'd follow us right on down into Glacier National Park and continue south into Mexico. So you ready? Yep, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go find a campground. So we have a pretty serious situation with the truck. Those people who are praying that we break down. Um, well, here we are, 70 miles, 50 miles from Canada. So not in a good place. Um, the engine started running a little, a little wonky and we pulled into the campground and checked the oil and there's no oil. We've been leaking oil. We don't know how long and we can't really figure out where it's coming from. So Lindsay's trying to Fine. Yeah, I have no idea. Anything up here. So, I mean, it looks wet on the valve cover back here, but who knows. <laughs> so we're going to have to rely completely on strangers to help us out. And I guess that's how the call to wander goes. Is taking us so far out of our comfort zone that it's not about us anymore. Because um, we can't find where it's leaking. If we could find it, then maybe we could fix it. So we saw another camper in, in the campground that had a truck that looked similar to the 7.3. Uh, we knocked Pretty on the sure camper. They weren't in. It looked like they might, might be out biking. So I left a note in their door, tucked into their door, and hopefully it doesn't blow away. Hopefully they don't get back at dark and open the door and not see it. But um, maybe they happen to be expert mechanics and can come over and help us out. So um, trying to, you know, mechanically diagnose it here. There's no cell service. There's uh, just us and flashlights and trying to use some logic to isolate where the oil is coming from. Um, trying to find wet oil and trying to find it as high up in the engine as possible. Because we know it's definitely dripped down. It's all over the back. Um, I mean, it just, once it hit the bottom and the wind caught it, it just went all over the underside of the truck. So we know it's not way back there, so we're just tracking the oil up to the top as best we can. Um, our other option is if we are leaking oil, we don't know the rate at which we're leaking, but if we could somehow top off the oil and get to a town where there's a mechanic, uh, it will obviously be an inconvenience for the trip, but if we can do that, then the mechanic can do their job and hopefully get us back on the road. We only have a gallon, four quarts of oil. I don't want to put any in until tomorrow morning, right before we could possibly leave, right? Because if we put it in tonight, it's just leaking out. If that's, if, that, if that's how it's leaking. If it's only leaking when the engine is running, then putting it in now is not gonna hurt anything. Okay. But cool. if it is a seal and it's just leaking, then yes. So if we put it in right now, Maybe we get peace of mind if, if it's not leaking, but if it does all leak out, then we've just gone through four quarts. Yes. So just the, wait till the morning. Wait till the morning. 
and we'll put it in, let it sit for a couple minutes, see if it holds it. And if the dipstick reads that it's within range, then Browning, I think, is the closest town. It's about an hour. And they've got a Napa there. I'm assuming there's a diesel mechanic. Because there's definitely not one in Bab. I mean, all that was there was that restaurant nope, and Canadian cell phone service. Go figure. We were still 10 miles from the border. So at this point, I think we should call it for diagnosing. We can't really figure it out, right? Nope. I'm covered in oil, so I'm going to clean up. And uh, I think we need to just eat dinner and pray and hope we get a knock on the door from a kind stranger that is willing to help us out. So the weather turns bad here tomorrow. We do have enough water, I believe, to go a couple days. We have enough propane to go a couple days. But if we had to get towed out of here, there's there's no way. Nope. Can't call anyone. Yeah, but even if we could catch a ride to town, I mean that's that's gonna be the next step is somebody's gonna have to be willing to give us a ride about an hour out of town and then be willing to come back with us an hour. So it's definitely can't script it. But it's definitely something we got to pray through and pray that God sends the right person. We can't be here forever. So something's going to happen. We're going to figure something out. I'm hoping it's just get a, a ride and go pick up like eight gallons of oil. Eight no, eight gallons. Eight gallons? Okay. Yeah, because it takes three and a half gallons to fill it up. Yeah. And we just top it off and top it off and top it off and we get to Kalispell and we go in there and we find a mechanic in Kalispell and they go oh yeah it's easy it's your oil cooler or whatever and we end up paying $500 in labor and parts and it's fixed but I just want to get back to civilization it's kind of ironic because we spent all day running from civilization and yep. beautiful national park and now um, I'm kind of scared to ever leave civilization because of something like this when we first noticed it we were at the Canadian border as far away as we could be so so it's on to the next step praying and trying not to worry that's our I think my biggest thing right now is just worrying I know we're gonna be okay I know it I know there's always a way through things and I know God's got us it's just trying not to worry about what are we supposed to do, what can we do, what is the fix, how much is it going to cost, all the things I tell other people, oh, we don't worry about it, God takes care of it, and now it's like, is it real? Because, well, I'm worrying. Yep. So, let's try not to worry, babe. Yep. Let's leave this up all night so people know that we got an issue. Yeah. Maybe we'll end up with a stranger knocking on the door. Unless it rains, that's the only thing. I don't want it to rain with the engine open. So okay. Probably not a good idea. Well, we'll close it if it rains. And it's uh, adding all these things together, but it's off season, so I don't even know if there's a ranger. Nope, probably. Or because uh, everything is closed. But how far was it to get back to the the front? Not far. I could ride my bike there. Yeah. I'm gonna go ride my bike. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Maybe there'll be cell service. You can call George. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can at least <laughs> make contact with the ranger. I doubt they would leave us entirely out here on our own. No, I doubt it. So get on your bike. Okay. I'm going to get on my bike. Could be, could be worse. There could be far uglier places to have issues. Yeah. All right, good luck. My wonky bike. Yeah, because you can't call me for help. Everything's wonky. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Got your phone? <laughs>